here, um, just out in the yard really early this morning, about 6 a.m. We've been doing irrigation uh, for the lower acre and uh, putting in some fruit trees uh, down around the, the bottom side of the yard. Nice to get some water down there so we can uh, we can get some trees, more trees planted. We ha you can't see them, but uh, there's some citrus and peach and so forth going down the side now. Those are some myrtles we're putting in. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, we're gonna do an unboxing today. And uh, here it is. I did make a little purchase, uh, very modest in these times. But uh, what we have here are some coins from our rounds and coins from the coin shop in Canada. Uh, still not charging sales tax, but uh, sometimes their prices can be a little higher. But uh, here's what we got. I mentioned these coins a while ago from Canada. This is Creatures of the North. I know a couple of you are, are into these. And this is the first in the series, Creatures of the North, a two ounce. I've called it the Queen's Beast Killer. Uh, we'll have to see what the quality looks like. You're looking through the plastic there, but uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's the Kraken. <clears throat> They're gonna do two of these a year, uh, just like the, um, the Queen's Beast, which is uh, coming to a conclusion here. And you don't really care about the obverse, but uh, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good there. That looks pretty good. These were about uh, 20, 21, 22. You can find them around town. Uh, I would, uh, I'd buy something like this all day long before I'd buy an Eagle at uh, $10 over spot. Oh, I see we got a little, is that a Nick? Not too bad though. Let's see what the other one looks like. The Kraken. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of these they are going to release, but I think it's a great format, the two ounce coin. Um, and we'll see if uh, we get the typical quality problems, but not that the Queen's Beast didn't come with lots of quality problems. Spotting, hazing, nicking, etc. Um, but again, the coin shop uh, in Canada, they deliver to the US, no sales tax if you find what you want there. Monument Metals is still my first go-to. Yeah, and looks like that is on the bag there. Let's go ahead and pull that out. What do you say? There pull this out of the plastic. Didn't come with a capsule or anything. And I'm not sure if these are the same size as the Queen's Beast, but I, I know these capsules can get uh, a little expensive. Well, that coin looks absolutely marvelous. Beautiful quality on that. <clears throat> and I like the image. Um, so, uh, Creatures of the North. Yeah, I think that's a great uh, first coin in the series. Um, if premiums were a little lower, I'd probably pick up a, a few more of these. But right now, I just got a couple. All right, on to the there next it is from the one and over only um, Beaver Bullion. Uh, let's see, Apocalypse. Uh, one trade unit, one troy ounce that is poured. Looks like it might be hammered as well. And yeah, to commemorate, not to celebrate, but commemorate this time in our lives, uh, this is the year of the coronavirus. And there is that nasty little dude. He's stepping on, is he stepping on a rat? Oh, it's not the year of the rat. It's the year of the corona. I see he's stepping on a rat. Well, that's kind of silly. But uh, yeah, I got a few of these. They were, uh, let's see, I got four. And uh, they, they were about uh, 20, 20, 21 bucks. Um, got a nice little mirror on that guy. So uh, well done. That's yeah, kind of gnarly on the sides. I think he hammered the sides. I shouldn't really be touching it, but it's just poured silver. But uh, yeah, to uh, commemorate this crazy year that has changed the world. Year of the coronavirus. You can pick these up at the coin shop in Canada. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day.